Hi guys and welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So today uh, I've gone and it's actually taken me a fair while but uh, as I've been noodling I've been going through and picking out just crap looking coins. Um, now what I want to show you today is these coins here now what something that really annoys me is I often see sales particularly on eBay uh, for coins such as these. Now, see this here? It's got like a ding on the end of it. People call them error coins. There's nothing about these coins that are an error. These are all these things. All these sort of bumps and scratches. Like this one here looks like it's been run over by a lawnmower, you know, like these kind of things, they're just, they're not error coins, there's nothing special about them, um, take a look, have a look on eBay and see what you come up with, there's just things like this that people try to sell, there's just nothing special, um, here's another example, like, how could that possibly happen at the Mint, uh, so it's, it's certainly happened after it's left the mint. Um, my general rule of thumb is if you can do this and make these marks and make them scratched up or make special little indentations in them in your backyard shed, well, so can anyone else. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and just bring it to your attention that there are people out there who try to take advantage of new collectors by saying that they're error coins, um, but they're, they're certainly not. Um, so you can see this one here. Um, that one there, you know, is something a little bit different. But uh, this one here, you know, just, just dinged up coins. Nothing special. Now... See this coin here? It's got a line going through it. You can see it running straight across there. Now, that there happens by a, uh, um, a, a like a, a razor or some sort of uh, box opener, um, box cutter, um, Stanley knife uh, running across the coin. And particularly, this happens a lot when the the banks are unwrapping the uh, coins that are wrapped in plastic uh, and then paper rolls uh, and they're cutting the uh, plastic off and sure enough they damage the coin so it's it's uh, nothing that's uh, happened at the mint uh, it's not a die crack it's not an error so just keep an eye out if uh, if you can if you can produce error coins uh, they're not error coins so um you know like that there's a little ding on the side of it but uh, that's all it is so guys with all these coins here one of them is actually an error coin and uh, I did put it on camera uh, so uh, I have put one error coin actually in here so um, please leave a comment if you saw which one is actually an error coin, please leave a comment because uh, probably my next video or so, I will uh, I'll show you that coin and I'll talk a little bit more about it. And I do have another one that's uh, similar. So um, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know which one you saw. I did hold it on camera for a little bit, so hopefully you can pick it out. But uh, that's all for today, guys. I just wanted to show you that there is a lot of junk out there and uh, some people do try to pass them off as errors but they are certainly not errors it is post mint damage all right guys have a good day thanks